Hi Universe, my name is Maria. Today I am going to show you how to make polenta. It's very easy, but you have to follow the procedure. I have here five cups of water. Five cups of water. And I turn on for high for six, seven minutes to get the water boiled. When the, the water starts to boil, I'm going to put two cups, two cups cornmeal. And half a teaspoon, half a teaspoon uh, salt, half a teaspoon salt, which already I put in this water. Now the water starts to boil, and I'm going to put the cornmeal like you see right now. Not the whole tank at once, little by little. I'm going to turn the heel a little bit, little bit lower, and pretty soon I have to put the lid down because the polenta sometimes make like a volcano, and I have to be real careful not to burn my hands. So I'm going to turn the heel a little bit lower, and I'm going to put the lid down for at least three, four minutes, and I'm going to watch how the polenta goes. Right now it looks very good, very good. The heat is a little bit lower, and I'm going to put the lid down. Right now I use the, the wood spoon, and I'm going to make it really, really good. And I'm going to put the lid back and watch, watch the volcano. Look here, you can see the volcano. That's why I'm going to use the lid again. Now, I watch the polenta and mix and mix, mix, mix until start volcano again. And I'm going to put the lid again. Takes about uh, after you put the the meal in, the corn meal in takes about uh, ten minutes to boil the corn meal. But you have to be careful and stay and mix all the time and put the lid down. Again, I'm going to mix again, mix again. So it's not that hot. We have to make sure it's boiling up, that the corn is boiling up. You want to see how this looks? Looks great, looks great. In two, three minutes the polenta will be ready.
Okay, now I'm going to do this process without cover. Like you see, I don't, I don't use any bar on this polenta because the cholesterol. This is gluten-free polenta without cholesterol. Just a little bit feta cheese on top when you serve. So now I show you the trick. If the, the spoon stays straight in the polenta, that means the polenta is all done. So it's not straight yet. So we have to, to mix at least two more minutes. And still keep the fire on, on low, please. Okay, this polenta is ready now. We're gonna turn off the fire and I show you how to how to serve this polenta. You can serve polenta with lot of food, lot of anything you want. You spoon the polenta and another dish. cheese on top a 
about tablespoon feta cheese and one teaspoon garlic sauce. This is my polenta with garlic sauce and feta cheese. It's delicious. Try my recipe, please. Thank you very much.